When the pandemic first hit, you could not find toilet paper or sanitizer. And as recently as this weekend, I still couldn't find any Clorox wipes. But there's also a growing shortage of guns and ammunition. And gun store owners say the pandemic and the social unrest bringing in new customers for them. Local 24 News reporter Caitlin McCarthy is digging deeper into why that is. One of the most basic human necessities is safety. And in these uncertain times, some people feel that could be in question. So some people are turning to firearms to reassure themselves. In late February, just before COVID-19 took off in the U.S., plus the recent protests and civil unrest, guns and ammo are flying off store shelves, creating a shortage of some items as gun shop owners are seeing more new customers. You've got a lot of people that are afraid. And so it's driven a lot of first time buyers into the market. Owner Jay Hill says he's had a limited supply of specifically 9mm and 223 ammunition. Between mid March and end of June, his shop has sold more than 1,900 guns and 2 million rounds of ammo. His business is booming like never before. The people that have guns, that are, are gun people, so to speak, they're stocking up. Uh, they're afraid, a lot of people are afraid of, of having to implement martial law. Clinical psychotherapist Jessica Ree says it's no surprise people are turning to firearms for security because safety is a basic human need. She says people stock up out of fear that they might not have enough of something to protect themselves in a situation. That may look like having things in excess or having a plan in case our fear-based thoughts come true. While this may seem irrational to some, Reed says this is very rational to others who think their lives could be at risk. However, she suggests people need to be responsive to their fears and not reactive. I think it's a survival tactic that people are using as a protective factor. In Cordova, Caitlin McCarthy, Local 24 News.